Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. Welcome, and it is Wednesday. I want to say hello to the people in chat. We've got Lamunas, uh, uh, Laminus, sorry, Razar VR, You Will Never Know, Fragarock14, who just came in here with a brand new subscription. Oh my gosh, right before we even start. So we need to give some hype, lots of hype. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday, right? No, it's not Wednesday. Is it Friday already? It does not feel like Friday. <laughs> oh my goodness. All my days, it's winter, and so my days are all a blur. I'm gonna give some hype right now, well deserved, to Fragrach14, who just subscribed for the first time. Let me see if I can spell this right. Yes, happy Friday! It's actually Friday, you don't have to worry about it being another two days till the weekend. <laughs> Is it 114? No, it's 14. And we just got Mikolavs the, wait, Mikolas, Mikolas, is it Mikolas? 
let's see, I don't do Roman numerals well. Is it seven? Seven or four? I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna give you some hype as well. Hello. Who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? Kazaya? Thank you guys so much for coming in. And, and also, like, Fraglock was the first person in chat. They were like, boop. And I'm so glad they did that because I was getting ready and I was trying to set up and I realized, oh, it's time to start because they did that. Nicholas, oh my gosh, two months in a row. Hold on, give some hype to Nicholas. Woo, I spell hype right this, one, this time. Good, good. Yay, I'm so glad it's Friday. I, I am having a great day, thank you. What, let me tell you what we're gonna be doing today so that you'll know, you know, ah, troll bait. Six months in a row, it says, hey, show, she about to move out of Colorado to Kansas. A lot closer to some of the cons. Hope to see you again soon. Troll bait, how soon are you gonna be in Kansas? Cause I'm actually, Benson Stryker, thank you for the host. Anyway, troll bait, I'm gonna be in Kansas City very soon in February. I'm gonna be in Kansas City in February. Just for a friend, to help out a friend, but I'll be there. <gasps> Kazaya! My gosh, you guys, this is so sweet of everybody subscribing and cheering and hosting. Look at my face. <laughs> I'm a little verklempt. Ah, thank you so much, Maharoon is here too, hello. Steve Amy, Texas. We need to give some hype to Kazaya and a troll bait. Double hypes, guys. Hi, pipe, pipe. Hi, pipe, pipe. I gotta tell everybody what we're going to do. <laughs> so today um, I'm painting the Olive Dasis. I think that's how I say it, from Infinity. And the reason why I, I said I was going to do some of the other things that we've been working on, but then Mike has got, a, he's going to be at Winter War in Champaign. Um, for this whole weekend, pretty much, until Sunday. And he plays this character for um, Pathfinder. It's his Starfinder character. Starfinder, not Pathfinder. And so I thought we would speed paint him, get it done in two hours. He's so simple, we might be able to finish it sooner. I don't know, but I could always pick over him, you know, make it take longer. Amberdan, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I also, I'm gonna try using an OptiVisor this time. I noticed when I, I look like a doofus with it, but when I put the OptiVisor on, I just have to flip up to read chat, and then I can see my model really nice. And so I'm gonna try this. We're, we're gonna call this glasses on for this. Uh, we can still use the glasses emote. Maybe we need to make a new command. Enduro Joe! Yay, Starfunder winning. <laughs> the energy in this chat is so good. I'm so excited, everybody's hyped. You, you ready for the weekend? You like this OptiVisor, don't I look so stylish? I look like a, a professional, serious painter. All right, let's go. What visors are these? They look much better than your current ones? That's a good question. There's no branding on this one, is there? There's a light here. Do I? Ooh, look, I can turn on the light. There's lights on each side. It just says made in China. Wait, this one, the batteries are, the batteries are burnt out on this one. This one's been on. So I probably won't use my lights. I don't really need it because I've got the overhead light. It needs a Broncos logo. It does need a Broncos logo. Yeah. I don't have any Bronco gear on today. That's okay. You guys know where my heart is. Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> no, Stephen Ray, Texas, welcome to old. This is why, <laughs> this is why I need these. Cause my bifocals, my bifocals, <laughs> it's like, hey, Sonny, let's paint a miniature. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just have naturally, bi, um, naturally magnifying eyeballs. So when I'm taking off my glasses to paint, I can see really close. And so, but the thing is my actual glasses, these are not strong enough, or either that or they're too strong. I can't remember which it is. But I think it's that they're too strong to paint. So these kind of act like reading glasses and I won't have to take my glasses off. You guys all love your headset. 
You guys, a lot of you use using. I should, maybe I should be, yeah, you use uh, some readers with the two at magnification. And I have some readers, I, I just, um, it, this way I can read chat and I can just flip it up and flip it down. You've had yours for a couple years now, worn, worn out eyes from painting minis. Mine are just because of genetics. <laughs> All right, so let's paint. We're ready. I got my, my OptiVisor on. Hopefully it's gonna fit my head. And let's flip to this. Here's my mini. Look at that, there he is. Um, what I think I'm going to do to start out, I, I've got a reference I'm gonna look at. I'm just gonna print it out real quick. Amberton says, hi, I find using OptiVisor limits how long you can paint for as swapping between magnified and normal view makes you dizzy after a while. Yours may, yeah, mine might be different. So one of the things I know that you can do is like, you know how we take a stretch break? Here, we're gonna do a face again. You know how we take a stretch break? You can take an eye break and you probably should take an eye break every now and then where you're, you're looking and then you look off to the distance and you kind of change your focus because I think you can actually over strengthen your near vision and like your far vision. Well, I don't know if this is true. I'm not a eye person expert but I think that you, you wanna always like, you know, change your, your scope of vision. You've never been busy from yours, Mikolas, uh, but you've, you haven't used them for too long, okay. So yeah, you can always talk to your eye doctor and find out, I have an eye doctor, my eye doctor is actually a gamer, which is fantastic, because he gets all of my miniatures and everything, he understands it, he's a friend of the family. And he said, if I take measurements of between like my, basically my eyes and the screen and then my eyes and where I paint, that he can make me a custom pair of painting glasses. So that would be fantastic. Like they'll be like bifocals, but they'll be screen and paint. And I would be able to write those off completely because they would be tax deductible for work. Yeah, your eyes get used to it. You have to take a break in a while, once in a while, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's paint. We got this guy. I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna print out my little photo that I wanna use. There's a really good picture up here. Oh, maybe I don't need to print it. Let me print this anyway. You guys know me. So, I like to copy the box art because box art is pretty much most of the box artists are, it's meant to copy. All right, open image in a new tab, there we go. And now we're gonna print this. We have a laser printer, I think, is it laser or is it inkjet? One, one of the ones which the, has the toner and we're very low on toner and toner is like $200 a cartridge. So really like your subs and your, um, Contributions to the stream, they go to, I mean, I use this printer for work constantly. So they will, you know, that all, all that stuff goes to help all the overhead at the stream. I'm gonna go get the printout, I'll be right back. All right, take my mic off. Don't forget to remind me to put my mic on if I forget. Okay, I got my mic back on. Let's take a look at this. All right, the printout is not 100% the greatest, but it's at least, it's good enough for me to look at and get an idea of like, okay, there's purples, there's pinks, there's a lot of ivory, it's beautiful, it's grays, lots of grays, like whites and then turquoises and stuff on the bottom here. We don't have the infinity base, but yeah, infinity today. No, I'm excited. All right, so let's go ahead, and I might switch back and forth between the chat and and my my uh, model here, my 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 reference. Put your mic on. Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> it is on. <laughs> All right, here's hoping the internet gods are kind to you. I know. Yes, Shoshi Bot. All right. I'm gonna, I have some paint already on my palette, which I'm actually gonna leave, oh no. That's not something that you wanna open your palette to. Guys, take a look at this. 
So, I have a solution. We're just going to cover that up. I must have, have, this is what happens when you overfill your ever, I overfilled it. And I've told you guys how to fill the everlasting web palette and then sometimes I just don't take my own advice and I make a mess. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm just going to go get another palette because I've got a whole bunch over here. I'll be right back. I know, right? <laughs> See if this is a better solution here. I have a whole bunch of palettes that I use for my classes. Yep, there we go. So now I'm going to show you guys how to fill this palette. So we've got the sponge. It's already a little damp. That's okay. Look, it's brand new. Put that on there. Here's the hydration sheets. When you buy one of these palettes from Redgrass Games, yes, we're sponsored, you get 50 hydration paper sheets. This is in the painter size. You, you also get two of these sponges when you buy one of these. You get, a, you get one of these sponges, you get a band to like keep it closed, and a pack of these, and you also get like a wavy, which is the little, it's kind of like a well palette that can magnetize to multiple sides. See, there's magnets on um, one, two, three different sides. You've got magnets. Feel free to ask me any questions. What you, if you're taking any of my classes at Adepticon this year, you'll get to use this palette. All right, there. Yeah, I'll show. I always do what I always do what I say. Don't do. Here's the sheet. It comes out like this. It's, I love the fact that it's already curved. I'm a little OCD about having a, just a really nice fit. And these things, the fact that they fit perfect makes me super happy. So I've got like a little squeeze bottle. And what I want to do is I just want to wet this sponge. See how water's getting on the, on the side here. I don't really want water on the edges. Not too much anyway. I'm just going to get this sponge wet enough that when I, I can even squeeze it, that might be enough water like that. And, and someone told me on the, on the last stream I talked about the pat, see it's just a little bit wetter. See how there's not very much excess water all over the place? Seeing lockpick, how are you? You learned from so Sergio that putting a folded paper towel between the sponge and the baking paper prevents water from soaking up. <gasps> Ooh, that's interesting. I'm not. Does Sergio use the everlasting wet palette though? Because I'm not. I'm not so sure. That we could try it. Let's let's see. If Arsenal, uh, you know, you guys, I love learning from you guys. Now my OCD wants me to cut this. So I want to cut this to just the right size. Like. No, no, I didn't want to tear it. Got the base color of your Dragon King sprayed. Awesome. I, st I still have mine primed and not painted Super Sarah. I'm still very much lagging behind. Let me try this. I don't know this is going to work. All right, so the problem I see with this Okay, let's see. I don't see why this would be All right, let's try this. So Oh, okay, so this might actually work. I'm gonna get my finger wet a little bit. I wanna wet the edges. If the edges are wet and there's no creases or bubbles, you don't want any creases or bubbles, and you just want your edges nice and wet. I'm gonna go around the whole edge here. 
There we go. There's some, there's some creases with the paper towel. Where's, I feel like it gets, we can try this. I'm, I don't know, we'll see. So far, so good. You've used it since and it works? Okay, I believe you, Flixster. Subscribe it for 19 months in a row. Ha, I'm glad you're wearing the goggles because I bought some for myself, old eyes, right? <laughs> we were just talking about that. Um, I decided I would, this is the first time I've ever tried this. I have them, had them for a long time. Um, but I wanted to see if I could maybe not have to take my glasses off as much because I can just like look at my mini and then flip up for chat and maybe it'll be a lot easier to look at chat this way. Guys, give a shout out to Flickster. We just did that and some hype. He is one of my fellow Triptych brothers. Mad love to Flickster. All right, so we just prepped our palette. Notice that there's just a tiny amount of excess water and that's how you want it. Because what I did when I made my giant mess, what I do with that palette? Oh, I've set it over on the bar. So yeah, I just, you don't want to do that. So we're going to start off fresh. I'm going to pick out the color palette for this so that we have everything we need. It looks like I, I definitely need black. I'm going to use black. I'm going to use um, Eclipse Gray, which is really nice, medium gray. I'm going to use Arctic Blue, which looks like it's what I have for the highlights. Um, am I rem I'm reminding, yeah, I, I remind you, Mike Disney is amazing. I would be happy to be reminding you of him. He is awesome. Shout out to Mike Disney. Let's just give him a shout out. He's not even here. We'll just shout out Mike Disney. I think that's gonna work. Oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, yes. Well, I gave you an exclamation part, but yes, go follow Mike Disney. He's awesome. He wears a visor. <laughs> okay, so I got my blues. Um, I need an ivory. I'm gonna do, I think, I need to look at my other reference here. I think I need this pale skin. It's a little warm and then it will lighten down to the white sands. And then of course we'll have just a smidge of white. And th did, I, did I mention a Tesla blue? Tesla blue is gonna get, gonna, gonna get mixed with a little bit of this fuchsia. Is that right, fuchsia? Yes. So there's, that's my colors, I think. That, that might be it. There might be a little turquoise. I need this one, our uh, Adriatic blue. That might be the last color. So that's a very limited palette. Check this out. So that's it. That's what we're gonna paint him with. And he's got a little helmet that he's standing on, but I'm not gonna worry about that yet. I wanna make, cause we may have to speed paint this and get this all done today. Yes. This is what we're painting, uh, Aleph, Aleph, te, uh, Des, Desis, Aleph, Desis, Des, yes, Dasius, Dasius, that's it. I think that's how I say it, I don't know. The VR setup needed tweaking, you're adding green screen. Yeah, I wanna add green screen as well. We wanna do um, a mirrorless camera and green screen and I'm gonna be redoing my overlays, redoing a lot of my stuff so that we can, uh... yeah, this is limited. Look at how many paints there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, just about 10 paints, that's about right. Did we already have black in here? Yes, no we don't. Yes we do, okay. So, before I begin, and I might need an ink as well, I think I'll use Inktense Black for my ink. I don't have my wavy hand handy, so I'm just gonna use this little cheapy well palette for my ink. Don't put ink on your Everlasting Wet palette, it will go right through. Same thing with some of the airbrush paints, like the, uh, some of the really thin, like model colors will go through pretty quick as well. I still use some of them, but um, brush. All right, so I'm gonna use a fine brush. 
Because what I want to do, I'm going to use my red grass games brush and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to dark line all the little spots that, because I have this primed and everything. And we're going to try to paint this with the visor on. And so far, so good. I can see you so well. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I think I might have to use the visor more often. My eyes are getting used to this a little bit. How's it look on camera? Am I too high? Am I in the middle? There we go. Is that good? Oh man, I am loving this. Can you see how crisp that looks? Because I can see. Mmm, mm, so nice. I, I can see. That one got a little bit over, okay. I'm just going in and I am dark lining all of the little armor. This is kind of like the Mecha Gunpla version of a pin wash. We're just, and I'm going over to some of the lines, but that's okay. I just want to go in and dark line all of the spots. Might have to do this twice, but if I don't, if they're not in there now, it'll be harder later. Put that on top of my palette so it's easier. Okay, let me check chat, see I can flip out and look at chat. Wait, you wait, give it two months, 90%, oh, we'll have mag visors, yeah. <laughs> the, sometimes the visor lets you see too much exaculants. So Lord, I know Lord, so singing lockpick, everybody in this channel knows that I'm an artist first, which means I have an artist brain, which means I don't usually do things in a linear fashion. Like if I say I'm going to paint Lawrence Vernon on some Friday, it's possible that I'll switch it out for an Aleph Dazes for my husband to play on his Starfinder game for the weekend. That just happens. And I, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants type person. So, yes. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Finally, the stream wanted to work. Oh no. <laughs> All right, glasses are back on. It's so funny to say glasses are on. We could say, we need a new command. Flickster, can you make me a command that says glasses are on? I don't know, should we make one? We've got, we can use the emotes too because the bot has the emotes. Okay. Mainly, I'm doing black under the the, like, you know, this gun holster thing here, whatever this is, I guess it's a gun, yeah. So, is, does anybody here watch The um, the Good Place? It's a TV show on Hulu that I am, oh my gosh. Steve Amy Texas just cheered 150 bits, thank you so much. Mad love with the, look at that. <laughs> Let's give some hype. Some hype to Steve Amon, Texas. Yeah, you've seen it. I love it. Okay, I've seen it. I've been watching it. And um, I saw this Tumblr post recently that said um, whenever you're um, inconvenienced by something, you suddenly shout out, This is the bad place. <laughs> And Ellen, Ellen Shellstrop would, would be proud, right? All right, I feel like I'm looking underneath my visor. That's not going to be helpful. There we go, a little bit of... He's got a booty. Oh, I forgot how infinity, infinity bottles all have booties. It's been a while. Make sure, let me make sure I'm in the middle there. There we go. All right, so far, I'm very happy. There's a little thingamabob here. Look at how quickly I can paint with precision with my, with my visor on. Oh my goodness. So basically, by, by making this whole kind of coloring book-esque line work, 
It'll be make it so much easier to paint later on. Some of it is neater than others. That's okay. I'm gonna go easy on myself because I've never painted with a visor on stream before and I didn't know how it was gonna go. So far, so good. Go around this little knee pad. All right. I'm just gonna catch all the little lines and everything in his armor. Yeah, I love how I can check chat. You love the good place, I know. Well, Super Sarah, you and I are kindred souls, so I'm not surprised that you like good place. You have a bad booty about this. <laughs> yes, booty, booty models are the That's why we played so much Kingdom Death in here. We need to paint more Infinity and more Kingdom Death. Don't you know fat bottom girls make the world go round? And boys. That's a reference. Points if you can guess what it's from. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, I like that I can flip this up and down and not have to worry too much about putting my glasses. I can't tell you how much I've super glued my glasses before. I have scratched my glasses. I have lost my glasses on stream. See the little tiny. There we go. Okay, a little bit more. Queen, yes, Rosarbiar. And Lanamus and Teveston. All of you guys, you get it. It's a queen, that's the queen song. At Bottom Girls. And I did see the movie uh, Bohemian Rhapsody and it was so good. So entertaining. And there, I have to tell you, there were a lot of duds this past winter. A lot of meh movies that I watched. I got a, I got a pass my local movie theater, it's like $20 pass, AMC movie theater tickets, and um, the way it works is that uh, for every, you get, basically for $20, you can watch three free movies a week, and that's a deal, considering I like to go to the movies, and I'll go see stuff that, you know, maybe sounds if it's free, I'll go see it, you know? Practically free, it's only $20 for, there's a lot of movies. Okay, I'm almost done. See how crisp he looks already? Get the gun, cause. It's gonna get. So, I'm gonna make this a little bit wet here and I'm going to get all those little, see how I did that? I put a little thing down and then I wiped off the top because of those little machine gun holes. What are these called? What are the, hole, what are the holes in the end of a gun called and why are they there? Points. All right. I don't know why, but there we go. It's not covering it all the way. That's okay. What I'll end up doing is I'll make that end up having like kind of the gun smoke or whatever they call it. Pistol powder. Okay. Whew. 
He's awesome. Are you ready? Muzzle, muzzle brake, it's a suppressor. Oh, so it makes it less loud. The question was, what are the little holes on the end of a gun for? And what are they, they, they suppress something. Flash, to keep the gun from rising with recoil. You guys are so smart. See, I know nothing about guns. <laughs> All right, now I need to look at my reference real quick. Let's see, okay, so lots of ivories, lots of grays. I think what I'm gonna do is paint the ivory first because that's like his main color. And I think I'm gonna use this gray and a little bit of this warm ivory to start and see what happens here. I'll put that over here. This is Eclipse Gray. There we go. Just a little bit. And some pale skin, which is that warm, warm ivory color I have. It's very, it's a, it's a pale ivory, peachy color. Okay. And I need a little bit bigger brush. We're gonna go with the Winsor Newton one for that. All right, let me check. All the people beat you. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad so many people know because I definitely didn't. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna paint a mix of this gray and this ivory. I want more ivory because I really want it to be a real light gray to start. Maybe even lighter. Yeah, that's probably good. A very light gray. And I'm gonna check my reference one more time because I feel like there's also some yellow, maybe. Nope, it looks like it might be magenta, okay. So, I put my visor on, try this again. All right. I'm gonna put a, a bead of water on my palette. It's like kind of dirty water, but next to that. It doesn't read as gray on the model. It reads as nice. It reads as ivory. And I'm going to paint everything that is his little, so I'm guessing it's like ceramic art, armor, kind of like a stormtrooper. His boots are mostly gray, so we'll stay away from that. He's got knee pads. Those are gray. And this little this little thing on this on his thigh is also gray. All right. Now I'm going to get his whole shoulder. Since I did the zenithal priming, he shouldn't take us too long to paint. I'm hoping we can get this completely done in the whole stream. And then he's got, yeah, and then so I'm just gonna paint everything on his arms is gonna start out ivory and then I'll give all the details after a bit. Okay, and then he's got a little bit, a little bit of a little, actually that should have been purple, but that's okay. I'm gonna do his helmet. The top of his head, there's a little patch right there. That stays gray, but the rest is this ivory. And the shoulder, everything over here. Super Sarah says, 
Wait, a bunch of people said they kept they keep they keep the gun from rising with the recoils. The coals help with the recoil. Ugh. Did you just finish airbrushing, Ghost of the Wolf? I totally know that feeling. I got really tired from airbrushing. I airbrushed all day one day. It's tense. Laundry break. <laughs> Were you meaning to paint just on the end or around the whole bear? I just, I painted, I was trying to paint the holes. So I just painted the whole thing right there on the end so that I can come back later with like an overbrush and get that, all the parts except the holes later. Oh, okay. So you can, it's so you can hold it without burning your hand on the barrel. It has many purposes, nice. <laughs> it's not a muzzle brake. It's a, this model is an actual suppressor. It, it's an additional piece that does the same thing but actually reduces the noise. Well, he is a sniper, so that makes sense. It is a sniper rifle. So I think that you're probably right about that. It makes more sense for him to be quiet since he's a sniper. Okay, see how I did that? So we already have the black lining painting in this part makes it really nice and easy and then you paint right up to the line and it looks really crisp and separated. Okay. And then this whole there's a like a little right there. This model is so tiny. I was worried about you guys being able to see it. And then where's water? There we go. Do this whole arm again. I know this is going to end up having some colors, but... Okay. Now, I'm going to do the gray part. And... I think I'm going to use straight up just, um... Just this Eclipse Gray for it, and then we'll get all the highlights and everything in it after the fact. Airbrushing minis takes a lot of concentration and fine motor control. Yeah, it does. Suppressors are solid additions to the ends or they would be sucky suppressors. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. You guys know way more than me. That's all I know. Okay. Okay, this whole heel back here is gray. He's looking good so far. Because he's such a tiny model, you might have the urge to paint him with a tiny brush, but try to avoid that because the brush will like dry out while you're taking the brush to the mini. <laughs> and this way when you've got, you know, more water, more paint in your in your ferrule and in your brush, like this is a loaded brush right here. You can paint a lot longer with a lot more control as well. As long as it's got a good point. Okay, so this is a little surfboard shaped panel on his leg here. I think I just went over the lines. I gotta look at it with my visor. Yeah, I did. The visor sees better than my glasses do. and then get his knee pad. Boot, boot, boot. Boot to the head. Does anybody know what that movie's, that movie's from? Boot to the head? Love that movie, by the way. 
think I saw that when I was in college. <laughs> Alright, flip it. This whole shin pad is gray, knee pad is gray. I don't know if you guys have painted Infinity before or not, but they are tiny, ticky little models. They're, I think what they're called is, they're true 28 millimeter scale. Okay, there we go. Which means that they're more of a, like a true realistic style, re realistic size. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this whole gun gray. We can add a little black later. There we go. Hi, Anakos. <laughs> Okay, here's the backpack. The backpack is all gray as well. Okay, that looks good to me. Starting to, when, he looks pretty dull at this moment, but once we get going, we're gonna get all those little highlights and stuff in. I'm hoping he'll he'll look pretty cool. And again, it just needs to be speed painted for Mike because he needs it for his convention, for his Darkfinder game. I think his character is a Dom Pierre. That's what he told me last night. He said he has a Dom Pierre and he and his, his buddy, his gaming buddy, are they both play Dom Piers. Um, and his is like a sniper. That's pretty cool. Okay, I feel I need to start on some of the highlights like soon, because I feel like it's really dull at this moment. He's got a little satchel or something on his leg right here. You got an infinity mini to paint, but it's hiding until you get your big boy painting skills. No, Steve, just, just paint it. You could do it. Especially if you Xenithal paint, you know, Xenithal Prime, it's, it's practically coloring in the lines. Um, the other thing you could try to do is um, Follow one of uh, Alfon El not Alfonso, uh, um, Angel Herales. Angel is, used to be the studio painter for Infinity, and he did a whole bunch of really cool tutorials that are, I think are still up on his page. Um, oh, thank you, Serenity Brush. I really appreciate your subscription. Mad love. Let's give some hype. First, first time subscribing. Wow, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Everybody who is a subscriber here gets all these emotes that we have. And um, it, is, it is a lot of fun to use them in chat, in other people's chats. For our tier three level subscribers, you get, um, you get a, a video chat with me. Whoa, that was my phone. I mean, we turn it off, there we go. You get a video chat with me um, and I will do video coaching for you, for your painting um, for a half hour. So, Amberton says he also wrote two books where, which are basically about how to paint, exactly. Yeah, I agree. The, um, 
they were pretty much coloring guides for Infinity as well. So if you can, you can go on, um, I guess, Fagone, Fagone. It's a French site, .fr, I believe it is, and you can get those books. You can get them on Amazon as well, but that's where I got mine. All right, I think we're at a place where we can start loading up color. I think instead of, instead of, well, we use, well I'm gonna use a little bit of fuchsia, but I think I'm also gonna use a little bit of orange because Mike wanted his colors to be like orange and blue and I told him, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Mike doesn't get a choice if I'm painting his minis because he gets them for free, so I get to do what I want. <laughs> you were just painting Infinity as well? The limited edition, oh, limited edition, yeah. Real quick, I'm gonna go back in and line, probably gonna be lining that bit a lot with the dark gray. Okay. So, now I'm gonna take my just my ivory, and I'm gonna start highlighting bits of the armor. See how that looks already? I do have my glasses off now, because let me try it with the, with the visor, actually. Uh, now, see, I gotta put glasses on with the visor. That's awkward. That's better. It is right. Sometimes the visor makes you see too much. Makes me a little bit more picky. Let's see how that looks on cam. That looks good. Let's see if we can find the sweet spot there. The books were... Yeah. I think the reason why he referred to the paints is by code name is so you could easily find them and buy them. But yeah. <laughs> to my lawyer who has helped me on this, I will not leave a boot to the head, but a rapid Tasmanian devil to be placed in his trousers. I've not heard that one. Will, last will and temperament. Um, it's funny. I thought it was from Bloodsport. Was it? Maybe it wasn't Bloodsport, but there was another like martial arts movie that I got boot to the head from. You could say boot to the head. It's kind of, maybe it was, you know, maybe it was Mortal Kombat, the first one. I don't remember now. Okay, I need, a, this is the point where I need a little bit of drying retarder to smooth things out so I can get a nice blend. This is my um, drying retarder pen. It is a Pentel uh, watercolor brush pen with just a little bit of, there we go, put that on there. It's got 50% uh, water and 50% drying retarders. And I've got all of those products in my profile down below and you can look those up and order them if you want from Amazon. And I do get a little kickback from that. It's another way you can help the stream if you wanna, um, if you wanna buy from that link. That helps me as well. A little bit, it doesn't give me a lot, but it little bits add up. All right, he's starting to look more and more. There's, I don't know if you can see this, but on the end of my brush, there's a ball of paint. And sometimes the drying retarder, I'll put a little bit of drying retarder on my palette as well. 
I'll have some to dip my brush into. That's an, you can do that as well. Taekwon Leap. <laughs> oh no, that's great. All right, I'm dipping that into the brush retarder. There we go. Or drying retarder, that's what I meant. Not brush retarder. We're not trying to keep the brushes away. That looks good. Okay. So good. Now I gotta look at the drawing. There's more of the panel down here. So does anybody have any plans this weekend? What's everybody doing? We're going to be playing Kingdom Death again this weekend with our gaming group. Um, last time, we had a guy, he had his um, arms ripped off. I think we're going to, we had the, the murderer show up. Um, we had a guy with his arms get his, get his arms ripped off. We had a lot of kind of casualties. Um, we're supposed to meet... I think this, the strangers or the butcher, I can't, maybe it was the butcher, I don't know. Whoever we're fighting next in uh, Kingdom Death, we're gonna probably lose to, lose some survivors as well. Okay. All right, I gotta take my glasses off for this one because I think my glasses are actually slightly better than this particular visor. Just for that spot anyway. Yeah, I can, I can see a lot better without my glasses. funny but I feel like my eyeballs are shaking a little bit I gotta take this off does anybody get that I think my either my eyes are tired or I'm not sure if the advisor did something there we go we're gonna have to clean up with the gray Bear with me and I will check chat again. Okay. This is where I clean up this little foot panel. This is not, I, this is not an easy model, guys. I can say that. All right, I'm gonna get this white sands, which is um, even higher value than the pale skin. It's a little bit whiter even than the pale skin. Amberton says, like I said, using the visor and swapping between visor and normal vision kind of messes up your eyes, makes you dizzy. Yeah, I don't feel dizzy, but I feel like my eyeballs didn't like it. They were being fussy about it. So I'm gonna just stick to my regular eyes and see what happens. 
Now remember I've got drying retarder to help me smooth stuff. So if it looks like I'm blending with ease, that's because of the drying retarder. Because the whites don't blend with ease for me, for me. Too much better. He's starting to pop a little bit. It's that difference in value. There we go. They're so tiny. So tiny, tiny. Speaking of tiny, did you guys see the um the little French um, model, uh, La Fin de Batal, I think that's how I say it, I'm terrible at French. Apologize for any French speaking people in the, in the audience who have to listen to my French. Um, La Fin de la Batal, I think. So that piece was, is probably about as small as these Infinity models, I think. Oh yeah, that's looking good, I like that. All right, legs are starting to look good. Let's do a little white. I think he does need just a skosh. In fact, I'm going to use, um, let me find my white. I'm gonna use this white, the um, purity, I'm gonna try to use this white. This is the um, more satin white. And I think it'll have a little bit better coverage I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny amount and see if that does anything. Just a small, yeah, that did, that did do something crazy. Pop, look at that. Put it close to where the gray is and it pops even more. That looks good. So let's see what happens when we do something like that with the shoulder. We've got, we don't have the white sands on here yet. Here's the white sands on the shoulder. The ivory. You gotta remember that white has its own temperature. So some whites are cold, some whites are warm. There we go, wow. That's without the white, that's just with the ivory. Notice I'm putting the ivory more on the top so that it feels like it's getting, it's shadowed on the rest. That's good. Let's do one hand over here. Um, each one of these little fingers is like a separate little digit, so you can try to paint each piece. There we go. All right, now. Warm or cold, let me show you the difference. Um, I wonder if I can show you with P3. P3 has a cold white and a warm white. Let me see, hold on one second. Okay, this is good, this is a good example, hold on. So not all whites are created equal. I'm gonna get several different whites across. This one is good. A great example. Okay. Let's let's compare. Let's compare some whites. Just so for educational purposes. Okay, so this is this is white from the flat white. Okay. Let's 
see that. And hopefully my camera will read this. I, that's the other thing I'm worried about. Now this one is called Ghost White. It's a cold white, and you'll see why. Let me get the paint out of the thingy here. Here's a pen. Hello, Mr. Snowyak, you are up late. And then this is the, see this white? Do you see the difference? It's still white. It's almost like a blue. It's very cold, though. And this is rotten white. This is another good example. This one actually might have more green in it. A little bit different. It's hard to tell on camera. Let me see if I can swatch them on my fingers here. All right, so this one. There we go. Okay. That's the scale 75 white. This is the rotten white. Also, look at the consistency, too. It's completely different consistency. I might have to use that rotten white in this next. This is Vallejo white. Ooh, that is runny. <laughs> I need to shake that better. It's because it's the airbrush paint. There we go, that's better. Totally different consistency. That one was like liquid. This one was more thick. This one is like chalk. It's already drying very like chalk. And this one is the P3 white. And ivory, some of the ivories would be considered warm, warm whites. The green element of the last one you can't see. The blue is pretty easy to see. See that one. They're all, it's hard to tell on camera. There, that's better. You can kind of see them not glaring. But they're not the same. Not exactly, and they're definitely not drying the same. This one feels a little bit warmer. That one is the, that one is very cold. That's the dead, that's the, um, so this, let's see, this was okay. So this was the, the last one that I did was the model air. And then this one, second one was the rotten white. It's got a, a lot of green in it. But it's helpful to know like the different properties and stuff that it, you know each paint has. That's why I want to use. I'm going to use probably. Let's do. I'm going to put some of this model air white on this guy and see what happens. You use P3 white yourself. I like P3. P3 has a cold white, and I'm trying to think what it's called, but it's a new paint. They just put it out. If you know what it is, you can go ahead and tell me. I can't remember what it's called, but. There we go, that looks good to me. Does, that, that particular white doesn't cover real well, so let me try, what's the other white? We have the P3 white. Let me try the P3 white. It's a satin, so it's definitely gonna have a good coverage. It's also gonna blend nice, too, because of the satin qualities. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom, boom. Let's do some ivory, because I don't wanna, you don't wanna start with white. You wanna start with a lighter, or a darker color and then work your way up. Paint the booty, don't forget the booty. Got 
That's much better. Now a little, a little bit of this P3 white here on the base. There we go. That looks good. I feel like this brush might be a little bit too big. Let me try a smaller one. Yeah, that's better. And now a little white. Ooh, pop. So I get rid of some of the paint and now I can blend that a little better. And over here. That looks good. Definitely looking like armor now. Okay, let me check chat. Oh, is it cat strikes rig time? Good, good. You watch Shoshi paint in the worst resolution pro. I'm so sorry. We've got a good, um, good, uh, HP or whatever, we have a good camera too, so I'm sorry that you can't see that real well. Let's uh, let's all take a break real quick. I'm gonna get a drink here, and then we'll get up and stretch. Yes, I'm so glad that you guys are stretching. This is um, 800 milliliters of water. I'm trying to drink, trying to drink I can't remember how many milliliters. I got this app called uh, My Water. It's in it's in liters, which is frustrating because we don't do liters in the U.S. and so I have to convert all the time. But I finally figured out what cups are what. So I've currently I've already drank one of these and I'm at 42%. So when I drink another, let me see how many would that be. There we go. Okay. So probably, probably two of these and another glass, small glass, and I'll be good on all my water for the day. One and a half. How are peppercorn and ginger? Do you guys want to see them? If you want to see them, show me the cat hair emote, if you have it. If you don't have the cat hair emote, give me just like a Pokemon emote from Twitch. <laughs> Pokemon emote would be very, like very appropriate. All right, I'm gonna stretch. There's a cat hair, yay. Oh, that hurt. Pop, pop. Okay, I'm gonna show the, show the the geckos, they're nice and they're gonna be sleepy because the, the light is on. I know that um, because they're nocturnal, they don't really need one of these lights, but I read that um, the having the like the UVA or UVB, whatever it is that they get can help them hunt better when at night. I'm not sure, and they can absorb vitamin D better when they, when they have their their food. Okay, they're not in there. There's Ginger Biscuit. Try not to traumatize her too much. There you go. There she is. Ginger Biscuit. <laughs> she looked right at you guys. Yay! We need some gecko emotes eventually. We're gonna get them. 
I need to get them designed by the right person. She is a little freaked out. She was a little freaked out. Your tail was curled. She's my little dragon. Blip, blip. Aw, yes, yeah, she's a cutie. So cute. And let's take a look at Peppercorn. Peppercorn is a slightly feistier girl, smaller girl. She's going to hide. There's Peppercorn. See how little she is? compared to Ginger Biscuit. And you can see why we call her Peppercorn. A little harder to see on camera. There we go. Peppercorn. <laughs> yeah. He keeps wanting to not look at the camera. It's funny. <laughs> He's a cutie. There you go. They are smiley. They're really, and they're so sweet too. Like, I could probably put her on my shoulder. You guys can't see her too well. Can you see her? And she'll just chill and sit with me, you know? But I'd be worried about her jumping down into my paint. <laughs> All right, let go, let go, little gecko, go back in there. I'm just gonna mist the tank a little bit. They like it humid and sometimes it gets dry, especially when I've got that light on. There we go. They say they have it between 50 and 70% humidity. put the light back on so I only put the light on for about two hours um, a day because they really don't they really don't need too much light and it, the warmth is nice for them especially in the winter once I I'm gonna have the timer on this fixed and once I can set the timer for two hours a day it will be good yeah Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, Miss Half Damage. It's been a while. How are you? Not many related, just excited. Oh, that's sweet. Your friend's going to come in. She left for overseas and you found out she's going to be in town. That's great. All right, let's look at this mini again. He's getting there. I think I want to put start putting some color on him now because um, I'm going to need to look at my reference real quick. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Some of the parts that I painted, um, I'm going to mix a little bit of this color. This is the Tesla blue. Put some of that on my palette and some of the fuchsia and mix it to make sort of, sort of a lilac. That's my goal anyway. I don't know what it's going to actually make. We'll see. Let's see what colors this makes. Ooh, pretty. More blue, more blue, more blue. There we go. A little bit more blue. There we go. And now I made a very pretty purple. I'm going to take some of this white I've got here and that is perfect. I think that's, yeah, that'll work. So I see, hmm. 
This is Mike's mini Artie Wolf. This is his um, his mini for path or for Starfinder. So there we go. I'm just gonna try to get some of the colors in here, the ones I can anyway. I feel like that's the wrong color purple. Hold on, let me look and see if I can't find a better purple in my fantasy range. That's a gaming. Let me try, this is a Vandal Violet. Maybe I can lighten that down. Or, you know what I bet, because Infinity uses Vallejo. There is a perfect uh, Vallejo purple in here. Oh, I see it. Aha. It's not even Vallejo, but it's game color. Well, I guess game color is Vallejo. Alien purple. That's better. Much better. I don't have to mix it. Hi, Bill Neary. How are you? Shake it good. That is, that is, I matched it really good. It's just going to have a different going to be plugged is what's going to be. Hang on. Where did my pen go? Hmm. There it is. Good, I'm glad. There we go. Oof. That's your favorite color. It is nice. Look at how close I matched it though, guys. How crazy. It's, it's so the difference is pretty close except for this is way more vivid. Um, that's what I was, that's why I was like, this isn't quite right. It was this vivid purple, not the dull purple. Okay, so now I'm going to try this again. I'm pretty sure that this is the alien purple. We could use this as the highlight and the other one as the... Oh yeah, that's that's the color I wanted for sure. Boom. Okay, where else on his arm is it? This whole like visor thing back here is also purple. I think the top of the head is also a purple gray. Maybe I'll mix some gray with it. It'll be darker. That's better. nice. I like that. You're super excited to get your Carl bu your bus from Carl. Oh, that's so cool. What did you get? Um, you got the um, Elisabetta and the, the other one, the new one, right? All right, Rogues Ninja, thank you so much for coming by again. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to take some um, pictures, definitely. That is going to be something I'll try to do for you guys. Up on the socials. Okay. Probably being too picky with this guy. I probably need to speed up a little bit. But I think it's just because I haven't painted Infinity in a long time a little bit. Wanting wanting it to be just right. There we 
here. All right, on the back, we've got the gray. Where's the gray? I'm gonna add a little blue, a little blue to this purple, see what happens. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh. Check this out. That looks amazing. Elizabeth and the other female one, yeah. All right. Feels like he's starting to be more fleshed out now that I've got some new colors on him. I'm just going to go back in and paint the parts of the armor that I kind of missed just with this uh, white gray. That way at least it's, it's painted in case I miss something. This whole chest I'm going to go ahead and do that with. And then I'm going to highlight with that warm color. Now, there's a little bit of magenta. I wonder if I can... Yeah, that was what I needed. So I've got this peachy flesh color. I feel like that is a shadow on the bottom of this. Like It's almost like the, the purple is going up there and highlighting it, not highlighting it, but giving it some depth. White often reflects other colors. That looks big, that looks good to me. You got the other one because of all the skin and you thought this, yeah, it would be good to practice, definitely. That's awesome. Um, let's see, I think, I'm going to use a little bit of, what color, this color right here. We're going to use this um, blackered brown for some of the shadows on the ivory because in order to make something look whiter, sometimes you have to make the shadows of it look, look darker. So I'm going to add some of the black or brown to the to the armor. Let's see if that changes it. Yeah, that's much better. I underestimated how long this was going to take me. I thought for sure this would be quick. All right, shall we just shall we just speed paint him at this point? I sometimes I need to not be so ticky. Let's see what happens when I just start speed painting him like I just don't care. Right? Maybe it'll be better than if I just sat and kicked at him all day. Hmm? A little bit of magenta, lots of white. Let's 
do some black or brown. There we go. Just a tinting now. That's much better. So yes, I'm speeding up and I think it's helping me already. Sometimes I have to do that. Get out of my own way. Okay, let me check chat and see what do you guys think. Have I been stretching and hydrating? Yes, although I could use some more water. <laughs> Thank you for checking. Water is good. All right, what is next? I think some of his ribs, ribses get to be a little bit on the bluish end. Whoops, there's a cat hair right there. That's a new one. Oh, I like that. Okay. Now, I feel like there needs to be more dark darks. So I'm gonna go back to my ink. We had some ink and it completely dried up while we sat and talked, so take that out. Put more ink in there. Where's my ink intensity ink? Brisket. Hey, I love brisket. Now, go back in here and see all those hard lines. Yeah, that looks good to me. That's better. I definitely feel a little faster without the visor on, I gotta say. Hmm. I'm gonna try purple ink instead of black because for whatever reason, that, this is violet. The black is not jiving with me. What? Okay, good. For a second it came, I thought it came out like solid. I was like, let's try purple ink and see what happens. It's about the same, but it's, I mean, at least it's, uh, it looks like it has more depth. 
doesn't look so flat. Yeah, I'm already happier with that. Hmm, okay, let's try this side. Try the purple ink over here. Yeah, it works so much better. I know that um, Reaper makes a bunch of different liners, and those are often really good for this kind of work. Make a, make a hard purple line around his hand. So that it looks like that the gun is behind his hand. No mini holder. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I've been using one. No. I should though. It's Mike's. Okay, stop. Carpal tunnel is real. The shutdown is over. Huzzah! At least until February 15th. What happens on February 15th? Is that like another negotiation time? But we're not gonna talk about politics in here, so we're just gonna be happy that everything is, people will get paid again for a little while. I'm so glad. I wanna say like, we've got quite a few people in here that will be very happy to hear that news. Booty. All right. This is a pretty much politics free zone. Um, yeah, I like it that way. Oh, the purple ink guys do that because it's working so much better and the black ink, it's, it just looks really deep. It's got, I don't know why. Okay. Flip this gun barrel up a little bit. I need to paint this whole holster. Yeah, a lot of people will be. <laughs> too much, too much boob table, what? Oh. <laughs> gun must be gray, gun, gun just be gray. Well, wait, so I've gotta paint this, whatever this is. This is another, I think it's another gun. I'm gonna, I think you're right. I think it's just gray. We'll paint it gray for now. There's a little strappy strap something or other around his leg. I think that's supposed to be this weird pinkish brown color that I made. Yeah, that is. I feel like it needs to be more magenta and there we go. Perfect color, there we go.
kind of using this pink color as sort of like a, a shadow, shadow color. how you paint you will bring the mini up to you and use the boot <laughs> oh my gosh Sarah that's hilarious that is not an advantage we all have for sure it's so funny though hey you know what all your natural advantages you should I guess use to your painting ability right go. And then his little, he's got a little, like some kind of light thing right here where his, there we go. He's got two, one right here, he also. Okay, I need to check on the model. Hmm. He's kind of complex, isn't he? Let's see. Let's use this light blue. Add some white. Top of his boot is actually a blue, not a, not a white. Okay, now we're, I'm gonna do, hmm, I'm gonna, I need to overbrush basically, or just kind of catch all of the edges of his backpack and stuff. This is just with the white. I need a tiny dry brush. Let me see if I can find something here. This is my my little dry brush. It's not little, but it's let's see if I can make make this happen with a, a little bit of over brushing, dry brushing. Let's try this. See how I can catch. Ooh, that actually looks pretty dang good fast too. You know me, I like fast. That's speed painted right there, folks. Boom. I love it. Okay, I'm going to do it again on his gun. I wiped off most of the most of the excess See, I wouldn't be able to do that kind of, I wouldn't be able to do this with a regular brush. I don't have the patience, or I'm not, I'm also not that good at blending. But look at what a, what a big old dry brush can do for you. Make sure you don't put too much paint on it. Wipe most of the paint off. I go in the direction of the gun and then down a little bit. Pop! Man, should have just, I should have just 
painted him gray and dry brushed him from the beginning. That would have been a speed paint. My goodness. All right, let me do some detailing on his feet super quick. Always wash your dry brush. It's hard to remember that even though it's a dry brush, you still need to rinse it because that, that dried paint will stick on there. Okay, let's see, where's my, I set my other brushes down. Graphite can get everywhere, yeah. That's already, look at that. And now what I can do is go in here with like my purple ink, a little bit of black ink, a little bit of purple. Where's the black, there we go. And I can go in here with my black ink pick out all of the shadows, dark lining, the gun everywhere, which is the equivalent to doing a wash probably, <laughs> which I could do as well, but too late. You should do the wash and then dry brush probably, right? Uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat, as they say, right? Let's go on this side and That seems good enough. What do you think? Let's put, let's put, now we can paint some of the white highlights in on the gun just a little bit more defined. A little bit. Pop, pop, pop. much better. Hmm. Other than his faceplate, I think he's getting close to being done. Let me go in there with the black ink again and get these eyes or whatever they are, the eye holes. Yes. Last things. Last little details, huh? That's what really brings it out. The cat is offended? Wait a minute, what did I miss? <laughs> oh, Mr. Metal Color? Shall we use a gun metal color? I think that's a good idea. Let's see, I have, I have a gunmetal color. Black metal. Oh, I said skin of the cat, yes. I should have said, I almost, you know, it's funny that you say that because I, I almost said proverbial cat, but then I was like, hmm, why, why am I saying proverbial? Now I know why I should have said proverbial. <laughs> Proverbial. So this is sort of like a demi-metallic, isn't it? You can overbrush. 
here as well. That looks good to me. Um, and then, then little this little holster over here. That looks good. Okay. I see some other little areas. And then I'm gonna paint the main floor of the mini, the base. I'm gonna give it a black color. Another brush, where's my black? There it is. I feel like the mini just becomes more finished once you paint the base. Cat Proverbs. Do I do much non-metallic metals? A little bit, especially when we've been painting Kingdom Death. But uh, I'll be honest, I, I like metal, met metal metallics a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we do them. This one is a demi-metallic. I would call that a little bit of both. Look at how much this is gonna change once I get this base painted. It's gonna feel so much more finished instantly. You can actually, if you wanna check out some of my non-metallic metal, I actually taught myself how to do non-metallic metal on the stream. The class here encouraged me and helped me get to that point that's good enough for a, for a tabletop mini what color should I paint this little helmet I'm gonna take uh, should we do it just metal you should get some champ bases well oh for champ bases Ro Rob Jedi can you whisper me the link is there a, is there some sort of link for sci-fi minis bases because I don't paint it yellow that's a good Let's see. Yeah, that's if we did yellow and green, that would be a good. You like non-metallicing with metals. You like metal metallicing with metals. Yeah. Do you? Speaking of me, non-metallic, did you guys see this? This has both. This is metallic metal here, the shield, and this guy here is me, non-metallic metal. By the way, I finally look what I finally finished. Not finished, but it's, I'm still working on it, but I finally got the back of his base. I need to finish this freehand and then just work on this coattail just a little bit better. But yeah, he is almost done. I'm so excited. Look at how good. Let me see if I can not put him in the, there we go. This is the Aries Knight from Kingdom Death. That's some non-metallic metal. But I mixed it, I put, so you know what, okay. You will hear a lot of people tell you that you can't mix non-metallic metal with metallic metal, that you have to do one or the other. I think not. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you, yeah. Before, okay, so before, when this lava, when I first did it, it was just one, one thing. And um, I am not a male, and I don't think like this, but every guy I talked to said it looked like he was peeing. He was like, he's so metal, he's peeing lava. So, <laughs> so I gave it extra little crevices and cracks, and now it doesn't look like that as much. <laughs> yeah, I hope that this destroys the myth. I mean, this sword right here is both non-metallic metal and metallics together. Same with this. The shadows are all non-metallic. 
I put color into the metallics and painted it onto the metal, you know? Oh, into the meth, not pink. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> All right, so this guy is drying nice. Looks good, I think. What's left? Is there anything left that you see, like, glaringly? It looks good enough for a tabletop, tabletop mini that you'd be proud of. Oh, you know what I found? Little, two little blobs. There's two little blobs on his shin. <laughs> I know, it's just funny what people think of when they see stuff. It's like, oh, interesting that you'd see that, but okay. If one person sees it, you have to change it because you know that there's going to be somebody else who's going to see it. And then sure enough, I was right, somebody else did see it. So here's the thing about when you listen to any, including myself, any painting teacher, miniature teacher that you run into that tells you that w there's wrong ways of doing things or that you, you know, there's only one way of doing things. I want you to question it, challenge it, you know, try to, try to prove it wrong. Because the thing is, is, is it does not matter how you do something if you get the result that you want. And it's your art. That's the main thing. It's like, there's a lot of gatekeepers. I'm going to just go on a little rant for a second. There's a lot of gatekeepers in this hobby that do, they cut people down and they tell people that what they're doing isn't right. Like dry brushing is, a, is an amateur technique. You just saw me, you know, dry brush, right? Um, they, they'll say they'll do things because they want to be they want to be snobbish about it and I just I don't I don't do that and I'm totally willing to try something new and uh, and also you know push the envelope push the envelope life was meant to be explored and rules learn all the learn all the rules so that you can break them in art. That's one of my big philosophies with art. Yeah, preach the truth. <laughs> yeah, it does, Lynn the moon is, it does. That's what, the, that's what some of those people said. Yeah. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Jack, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the class. I'm gonna try this umber here. Two Shoshi rants in one day. Yes. Sometimes I ha I'm in rare form, aren't I? I'm gonna make this umber, raw umber, so it looks kind of weathered. That looks better. Aw, oh, miss half damage. Wow, thank you so much for the cheer. That's why we love you. Aww. Woohoo! Hi for Miss Half Damage. <laughs> That's awesome. It is just about that time. And I have just about finished the mini, so that's good. I might work on it a tiny bit more after stream, but I think I'm. Mike just said speed paint, so that's what he gets. Let's find somebody to, to host. Okay. All right. We will be back on on Monday um, from 2.30 to 4.30, same time as today. I hopefully will get some of the stuff primed and you'll get to see like the creature caster model that I'm supposed to be working on and some of the other cool things. Blick just started. Is he gaming today? We should go watch him. All right. Let me check what he, because he messaged me. Something. 
Oh, okay, okay. So we're gonna go. Well, yeah, we're gonna raid Flickster. Is he is he actually live or is he just in his startup? Hold on, let me check. Oh, good. Yay. He's, he's painting. We're ready. We're definitely ready, Flick. He's painting. I want you to give Flick so many emotes that he doesn't know what to do with himself, okay? Spam my emotes. L I K. There he is. And I'm going to type in here. If, uh, if you don't have my emotes, you're welcome to copy and paste this. It's my Mad Love. Mad Love from Shoshi's Minis. And so we can all go in there and raid, raid, raid. All right. We're going to raid in nine seconds. We're all going to go over. And I will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.